Eric Trump claimed that his father, quote, literally saved Christianity Can you when hear? touting the commander in chief's accomplishments during a recent interview on a North Dakota radio show. Eric Trump told What's on Your Mind host Scott Hennon in remarks first highlighted by CNN, quote, He's literally saved Christianity. I mean, there's a full-out war on faith in this country by the other side. The Democratic Party, the far left, has become the party of the atheists, and they want to attack Christianity. They want to close churches. They're totally fine keeping liquor stores open. He said referring to COVID-19 orders by governors in some states labeling liquor stores as essential businesses while also putting limitations on the number of people allowed in houses of worship. Here. Okay, so, I mean, in liquor store, people don't gather as much as they do in churches, so I can see why. Um, but, Demo okay, so first of all, the Democrats have become the party of atheists? I mean, Not I guess, really. I mean, they're first of all. Their nominee I'm, for president is a Catholic. I mean, first of all, they're not. Second of all, I wish. <laughs> Third of all. Um, when did, like, did they just use atheist as, like, a derogatory term? That's what he did, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, or at least, like, a scary, bad thing, a negative thing. Let's actually listen to him here. This is the actual audio. Mm -hmm. Let me un unmute again. On, you know, for natural gas in this country, he's protecting... This is him, right? This is him speaking. Eric Trump, hold on. So if so, in in case anybody thinks that we're misrepresenting him, and, you know, for natural gas in this country, he's protected the Second Amendment. He's literally saved Christianity. I mean, there's a full out war on faith in this country by the other side. I mean, the Democratic Party, the far left, is, has become the party of the quote unquote atheist. I mean, they want to attack Christianity. They want to close churches. They want to, you know, they're totally fine keeping liquor stores open, but they want to cho close churches all over the country. I mean. Look what he's done in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. He's, you know, look what he's done with prescription drug prices. Like, you know, insulin going. Okay, so everyone's just highlighting the, I mean, it's ridiculous, the part that he says Trump saved Christianity. And I highlight, and I thought that's the highlight. But when I started listening to this, I was like, yeah, that's not the highlight for me. The highlight for me is like the atheist part. Mm -hmm. As if that's oh, an oh, atheist part. Oh, as if that's a negative thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that's like fear mongering, like, ooh, atheist. Oh, my God, the party of atheists. You that know is... what that means? What? Oh, he's like the party of atheists. Like, you know what that means? Like, you know, oh, yeah. What... They eat babies. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually I, I, I don't. Here's the thing. A lot of a lot of atheists are not pissed off by this as as much as they should be you know like again the way how the way atheist is used as a as a you know like if somebody says like oh my god like obama is like a muslim you know people are like oh my god like how you know everybody recognizes the way that's how that's um you know anybody that uses that kind of language mm -hmm. is effed in the head you know, or like is using fear mongering tactics and and the the, the main defense that people have like it, when uh, of accusations of atheism is is that oh my they're not atheists like oh uh, don't don't worry they're not atheists not as in like what do you have against atheism what do you have against atheists right mm -hmm. um that i mean i think what i think we need to have some level of reaction from the atheist community for, for I, mean, I, I think a, a lot of atheists do not understand how i mean they don't care how low how little little the society even in, in a country like the united states people think of them that just mentioning a party is becoming atheist like it's supposed to be like atheists laugh at that people are like oh they're like Haha, yeah they were oh yeah don't threaten me with a Oh great! Oh, become they're becoming atheists. Great, then I'll vote for them, right? So they make jokes of that. They laugh at that. They have fun with it. But at the same time, I think we need to be a bit pissed off that this works as a scare tactic, right? That because if any other group of people, you know, were 
seen as dangerous the way a lot of right-wing people look at atheists, there would be a major reaction. Like even even like if, if Trump would say it was saying it's if, if if Eric Trump said that the Democrats is becoming a party of Muslims. Okay, I bet you the headline new the headline. Look at the headline right now. Okay. The headline, I mean, we're going to talk about this as well. Mm -hmm. the, how ridiculous this is. He's literally saved Christianity. Okay, <laughs> We're going to talk about that as well. But I bet you if he said that my dad is literally saved Christianity, look at the Democratic Party. They're becoming a party of Muslims. I bet you the, ti the title would be Eric Trump is like anti-Muslim, bigot, Islamophobia. He's scaremongering. Like, oh, what's wrong with being Muslim? Muslims, like, is that like, oh, you're scared of Muslims? Oh, you think you're Muslim creeping Sharia? You think Muslims are taking over the United States? Like, that would be the main topic. Like, the bigotry, the generalization, the fearmongering, you know. But that that didn't even get under most people's radar. This this ridiculous part got on people's radar. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah. I, I again, I think. I think we need to do a better job at getting some reaction out of people when they are when they use the term atheist as a way to scare people. I don't know. What do you think? I, I agree. I think. Um, well, we're not a um, consolidated voting block in the same way as other um, faith groups or belief based groups are. And. Um, and we don't have a, as much of a sense of collective identity, um, which I actually think is good in a lot of ways. Like I don't want I um, don't want there to be a singular atheist community, um, but we are increasingly um, a larger part of the part of the population. But because we are not politically active, we are allowing right wing evangelicism and dominionism in particular to um, have a greater influence in our politics. And um, that's a huge problem. We need to take um, things like this a lot more seriously um, and speak against it and call it out. I think um, not everyone is an outspoken atheist. A lot of people, it's just like a small part of their life, you know, that they ha were from a faith background and are no longer from a faith background. Um, but you know, I would hope that there um, are more people who become more outspoken about this kind of thing. And um, because, yeah, fear mongering and um, using this to denigrate an entire community for no good reason isn't okay. okay. Yeah, this is not even about being an atheist. You don't even have to be an atheist. You don't have no. to be a Muslim to think like, you know, you could be a Christian or a Muslim, be like, you know, What's your problem with atheists? You know what I mean? Um, just like we do that with, you know, Muslims, right? If somebody said like, oh my God, the Democrats are becoming like, you could have Muslims in your party or you could have, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's fine. Um, but I don't know, but okay, but let's talk about the other part, which everybody else is highlighting. I'm actually genuinely pissed that that nobody like look the term atheist is mentioned only one time in the article just as a quotation but there's no mm -hmm. commentary on that part mm -hmm. there's no commentary on that part and the tweets highlighting this does not even mention the fact that he's using atheist as a derogatory term the article itself doesn't even comment on that it just puts it in a quote and people are making fun of the fact that yeah nobody is attacking christianity the democrats are mostly christians um but yeah, I'm I'm pissed that this is not like even showing up at people's radar as a problematic part of this, right? Yeah, they, no one they, cares. Nobody cares. The, the only thing that they care, like, yeah, they're not atheists. But the fact that atheist is, yeah, is being used in a derogatory term, nobody cares about that. 